Hello, welcome to my house. My name is Estelle Louise Dobo. I currently work for a company called 54 Gene, the first biotech company in Africa. I'm their chief of staff um, and country manager in Nigeria. I think I've always liked collecting objects as far as I remember. Of course, you grew up and you start having more space and I just wanted to have beautiful things in my space. So uh, I started collecting intentionally. I think in 2016, I would say my collection is eclectic, colorful and deep. This is what I call my eclectic wall. It has some art, some design, and objects that I collected all through my travels. The price of the first work I collected. The Naira has changed a lot since, but I think it was something around 150,000 Naira. Here is a work by young artist Paul Majek. Paul Majek is one of the very few artists that my foundation, your foundation, supported uh, late last year uh, by promoting his work while he spent an immersive uh, journey here in Nigeria. Did I know I was going to be the owner of a vast collection? I don't think so. It was really never intentional until maybe 2020 where I started realizing that I had an eye for, you know, art. And I was already living in the art community. So yeah, I just had good deals. <laughs> and I'm very passionate about female artists. This work is by Adolfina. Adolfina is once again one of the rising stars of um, figurative art in the Nigerian scene. And then we have a bit of photography uh, by photographer Medina Duggar, who is American but spent uh, uh, long years here in Lagos and became a personal friend. The kind of principle I use to collect work, it has to be deep. It has to be thought about. I don't like shallow works. I know that we evolve and, you know, the things that I liked five years ago are not the same. But I think in every work that I collect, I like watching them and seeing something new every time. This work is from Tolu Aliki. A lot of collectors have asked me about this work. I actually got it from an auction. This is the first work that I got from an auction. I have an idea of who the previous owner is, but I'm not 100% sure. I love having old Aliki in my house because it's very nostalgic. Uh, his style has really changed over the years to become much more colorful. So it's even more rare to find this type of work from uh, Aliki these days. My favorite work in my collection. I can talk about my favorite artist because I have a bunch of his work. His name is Edouzie Anidou, he's Nigerian. I think my favorite work in his collection is the wildflowers. I see something new, I see new flowers whenever I watch them. I like the fact that the paintings are a result of mistakes. They are not perfect. In fact, you can experience the troubles that he goes through when he paints. The Bigger Person is the Humble Person by Kwe Innocent. He's one of my favorite artists right now. I really do think that he does not get enough recognition for the work that he does. He's Ghanaian. He's had a few big shows in Europe, so I'm very hopeful that uh, Kwe Innocent is going to become a key artist within the figurative slash abstract space. What medium am I drawn to and why? 
definitely acrylic on canvas. And I like that we can use such a simple medium to actually create really elaborate works. I like the fact that they can be combined with other mediums as well. I discovered this artist, Fidelis Joseph. I love what he does and I like the fact that as an artist, he can utilize multiple mediums on canvas. They are easy to transport as well. <laughs> but I would say that I'm de developing more fondness to sculptures recently. And then next to pay is uh, Tokozani Madonleza, another artist that I have chased for years. He's from South Africa. Uh, he has a very interesting style where he mixes acrylic canvas but also tissue and fabric on his works. And um, the very key thing about these works are the teeth. They are very significant. You can see that across many of the different works that he's done. I think my collection is special because it's just me. It tells the story of my life. A young African woman who isn't afraid to take risks because not everybody likes my works. <laughs> I see them and I see myself. I think these choices represent different periods of my life. They represent my strengths and my weaknesses as well. They are special to me. I recently began to be more drawn into sculpture. And here you have two pieces. The first that you see on top is called uh, Supplication by Bumi Babatunde. Bumi Babatunde is probably my favorite bronze uh, sculptor artist in Nigeria. And then right under it, you have a stool by Ivorian artist Sumian. I discovered him here in Nigeria, and I'm so glad that I had get to bring in uh, artists from all over West Africa. I spent majority of my life in Ivory Coast, by the way, so this is very personal for me to be able to bring that close to my home. This work is by Fidelis Joseph. I've actually been like tracking Fidelis for three years now, and I'm so glad that I finally got a work from him. You can see that this still is completely abstract, but you can guess some human bodies in the uh, work. And I like how he plays with colors, with different papers, and um, you know, utilizes canvas to its full potential. And then moving next is, um, Kadara is so extravagant and I say it in a very nice way and um, this is one of the uh, only prints that I have in my collection. This is from artist uh, Linduf. Linduf is from uh, Cameroon. This photo by artist Betty Wright who spent quite a long time within Africa photographing lifestyle across different countries. Other two very special objects that I recently acquired from my home are this very big mirror. I'm not sure what the texture is, it seemed to be wood, but I actually got it from uh, the Lekki Art Market. And then right at, under it is a mask for Burkina Faso, uh, which I find extremely colorful and very complimentary of the rest of the works that I have in my home. And then I'm very proud of this immense work by Senegalese artist Issa So. Issa So is an artist that I discovered this year uh, during the Biennale in Dakar. Uh, I had the privilege to meet him personally and he gave us a deep insight into what this work was about. He is inspired by a Pan-African politician and uh, uh, ideologist um, uh, Chekanta Diop and Chekanta Diop is somebody very important for Pan-Africanism. And uh, this work is titled Mariah, and uh, you can see a boat uh, right under that is meant to carry all the pain and the joy of the world. I still do believe it's very important to meet the artist one way or the other. I think I've met 90% of the artists in my collection. I think it's important because it's good to give them the opportunity to share their perspectives about what he created. Also in the entrance of my house is this work by one of my favorite female artists in Nigeria, Laju Shonola. She's um, emerging and had her first exhibition last year with Pacers Art Gallery. And 
it was really for me a great discovery. This work did remind me of myself. I find that passing right in front of it, it feels like I'm in front of a mirror, you know, of a black, beautiful woman. I think I'm reasonable with the type of works that I acquire, usually from very young contemporary artists. So there I take less risk, I would say, unless I've followed the artist for a while and I've seen them being published and growing. Otherwise, I tend to invest in like, more money in more established artists, to be honest. This work is by great master, Professor Bruce Arnold Brackbear, one of the most valuable works in my collection. I also got it from an auction. It's called Three Young Leopards. I like the chaos in this work. It's small, yet very powerful. And every time I've had to move works around, this work has never moved from this wall because it just feels like it owns this space. The framing is amazing. You don't even get to find these type of framings anymore. Uh, I'm extremely proud to have this work in my collection. Here, I call this wall the Yawa Foundation wall. By the way, meet Chinere. Chinere is our program manager in charge of all the programs that we've been running from the foundation. I founded um, Yawa Foundation in November 2020 during a career break. The goal for us is really to provide a platform for emerging contemporary artists so that they can continue to grow and create creative legacies while benefiting from welfare and funding. Uh, the two works on this uh, wall are, uh, the first one is called Calypso, and this is a work by Adolfina, yes, her again. <laughs> uh, I think anyone should, everyone should own an Adolfina. She's really uh, representing the strong, powerful female artists um, and just women in general going through, you know, life. And then um, the second work on this uh, wall is called Midnight Friends by the great Edozier Anedou. Anedou Edozier is probably uh, the artist that I collect the most uh, uh, personally and for the foundation. Um, this work, uh, I got it from a gallery that is working with, pretty sure that is going to be one of the key great artists in the coming years in Nigeria. My thought about the representation of Nigerian art on the global scene. As a Togolese and a Pan-African, because I lived in a lot of African countries, I find it to be fantastic for us that the world is finally seeing our talents and craving it. I like seeing that we are growing. Sometimes I feel like we're growing too fast, but I enjoy the process. If I were to give an advice to a budding collector in Nigeria, it would be take your time. Take your time, start with things that you like, because it's in this day and age, it's very easy to follow trends. I did at some point, but I think it's very important to take your time, really focus on the things that you like. Yes, an artist's price might be rising very quickly, but what's really important is the long run what you can keep in your home and be proud to talk about and maybe even give to your children. All right, so thank you very much for coming to my home and spending the day with me. It's been a pleasure talking to you about each of my work and objects and the stories behind how I collected them. It's now time for me to get back to work, uh, but before I go, I will invite you to visit our foundation pages on social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and see all the great things that we have to do. Now I really have to go back to work. Thank you. <laughs>